Contrary to popular belief, boiling will not make bad coffee taste good. However, boiling will make good coffee taste bad. So never boil your coffee. Unless, of course, you're making Scandinavian egg coffee, then you have to boil it. If you're interested in finding out why, keep watching. All right, so what is Scandinavian egg coffee? So in my research, I actually found that it's been called Swedish egg coffee, Norwegian egg coffee, and Scandinavian egg coffee. And since that does better encompasses the whole geographic area, that's the name I chose to go with. It's actually very simple. You take coffee, you add an egg, you put it in boiling water. What can go wrong with that? So what I'm going to do is just take you down to the ground where I have some water on to boil and I'll show you the process, give you the ingredients, show you how it works and we'll give it a taste test. All right, as I mentioned, the recipe for Scandinavian egg coffee couldn't be simpler. Coffee, an egg, boiling water. That's all you need to make this work. Now, there are probably a, any number of ways and recipes for doing this, but I'll share with you what I'm doing here, and then you can decide to modify it if you want. So the very first thing is you start with coffee. Now, uh, supposedly you can start with any coffee you want. It doesn't have to be a good quality coffee, but my experience trying out different coffees in the woods and different methods, it's always better to start with a good quality coffee. So I'm using my preferred coffee, which is Rampage coffee, made or roasted in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. They, uh, you know, it's been a consistently good coffee. Over Christmas, I did have a chance to try something that was purchased for me. They they purchased me the person purchased me some Starbucks coffee and you know they're good coffees but I was happy to get back to the rampage to be quite honest so let's start this out start with good coffee like rampage and uh, four tablespoons oh yeah I do have a scoop in here now I've got this ground I ground it this morning to a medium ground not too fine so four to five and I'm putting it right into a bowl two three four Five, five tablespoons of coffee. An egg, I'm gonna crack. Now, some recipes say the whole egg plus the shell, and some say the whole egg minus the shell. I'm gonna go minus the shell today. And what I'm doing is I'm just literally making a paste out of the egg and the coffee. That's what I'm doing. Just mix it around and around. Some recipes call for adding a little bit of water to this mixture. Some don't. I think today I'm gonna to go without. So I've got my egg all mixed into a paste with the coffee. Gotta get that lid off of the top. Where's my gloves? Water onto a boil here. Uh, the ground underneath my Firebox Scout is getting soft as a result of getting hot, of course. Now, inside of the pot, I have two cups of water boiling quite hard, and all I'm doing is pouring my eggs into the boiling water. Or not my eggs, my egg coffee paste into the boiling water. I'll give you a look and see what's happening. Now, it does have to be boiling and it has to continue to boil. And the reason is what happens here is the coffee rolls, the coffee mixture rolls in the water with the boiling bubbles. And that's what causes everything to bind together. The albumin or the white of the egg acts like a glue and it grabs all of the coffee into one big lump. And all right, things are boiling hard. I'm gonna watch to make sure they don't boil over. But my pot is pretty deep considering I have two cups of water in here. Mark the time a little bit. Uh, not, don't have to be precise. This is out in the woods, right? Nothing needs to be precise. So what I'll do is I'll just bring the camera over so you can see what's going on inside of the pot. I'm not so sure this is focusing in. I'm trying my best here. But the coffee is just rolling over on itself with the egg. Kind of in a big gelatinous clump right now. Give it another minute or so. And uh, that'll be it, that's all it takes. You know, that does smell good. So this is just about finished. It's about another 20, 30 seconds to go. Like I said, there's no precise 
you know, how long do you leave it when you're doing this? Leave it for as long or as short as you want. Uh, you want to leave it at least a couple of minutes for the egg to grab all that coffee and bind it. And we're just about finished here, and I left the top off just so I could keep an eye on it, make sure it wasn't going to boil over, and it's not. Why would you want to do this? I mean, why would you want to do this instead of just making straight up cowboy coffee or bushcraft coffee or whatever else you want to call it? Well, what is supposed to happen, and does, because I have done this before, is the egg not only binds with the coffee, making it very easy to get a clean, pure cup of coffee, but somehow mellows out the bitterness that would otherwise happen from the boiling. So yeah, boiling coffee is not a good idea. I said that in the beginning because it usually always makes coffee bitter. Doesn't matter how good or how bad a coffee you start off with, it's going to make it bitter in my opinion anyway. Doing this makes it easy to serve up and makes it smooth and creamy. All right, we've gone well over the time. So there's two things you can do, or actually there's probably more than two things. I'm gonna just take it off of the heat and let it set on top of the snow for about two minutes. Alternatively, I think I'll cover it. Alternatively, I could pour in some ice cold water and cause the grounds to go to the bottom, but uh, time will do the same thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I don't think it's worked, I'll add a little cold water to it. I don't wanna cool my coffee up too much. And when it's uh, past a couple of minutes of sitting here, I'll show you what it looks like when you take the eggs out. Okay, the way I thought I would do this is to pour myself a cup of coffee while the egg uh, coffee mixture is still inside. Uh, give that a taste and uh, I'll show you, of course, the mix, the glump, clump or whatever you want to call it. I think we're showing up here, aren't we? Still steaming hot. You wouldn't believe it. Now I do have a couple of grounds. Maybe I should have added a little bit of cold water to shock it and send it to the bottom or waited a little bit longer. I just wanted my coffee, uh, but not much. Very few of the grounds are in the coffee itself. It has a hazy look to it. Uh, kind of a foggy look to it is the best way to describe it. And that's not unexpected. It's not cowboy coffee or bushcraft coffee does exactly the same thing. But this is not like any cowboy coffee I've ever tasted before. I have never tasted coffee that's been boiled taste this smooth. It has like a, almost like a creamy mouth texture, like there's something to it, but not powdery, not gritty, not anything like that. Just some substance, like a little bit thicker than you would a, a filtered coffee. That's downright enjoyable is what that is. Okay, just a few comments on making Scandinavian egg coffee. So we discussed why. It helps to grab all the coffee and pull it into one gelatinous clump that you, makes it easy to dispose with. That's the thing about cowboy coffee, right? You're usually left with a whole lot of grounds in the bottom of your pot that you have to manage to dump out. And if, you're not, if you don't want to dump it out in the woods, which I, of course I don't, then it's a, a little challenging to get it into something to take back. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an advantage from that point. However, I'm a little bit on the edge about this one. I'm wasting an egg, an egg that I cooked, uh, could have cooked and eaten. I can't do that now with that egg, but... I guess what I'm going to say is that egg gave its life to a good cause because it made a nice cup of coffee. Now, it's not the only way to make coffee. I just wanted to share something a little bit different with you, something that you may be interested in trying. I know that people who make Scandinavian coffee think it's the greatest coffee on earth. I can understand why they say that. It's great coffee. It's a bit more work than I want to go through in the woods, but it's simple. How simple is that? Mix your coffee and your eggs together, pour it in some boiling water, let it boil for a couple of minutes, let the, the clump settle to the bottom, so there's what the egg coffee looks like after it's uh, taken out of the pot in the bottom of the pot. It's just one big gelatinous mess. All the grounds, there's really only just a couple of grounds left in the bottom of that pot. Everything else got gobbled up by the egg mixture. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't look very appetizing. And of course, I don't think you'd want to eat it, but uh, it is pretty cool how that works. 
All right, folks, if you have any comments or questions about making Scandinavian egg coffee, please put them in the comments section below. If you have any suggestions, ways to improve this, or other ways of making coffee while you're out here in the woods, something that maybe I don't already have in my playlist, I'm looking for that as well. But I'll give you the recipe, such as it was, in the video description if you want to try this for yourself. But while I sit back on this late afternoon, midwinter, enjoying a cup of coffee, let me suggest to you that you get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.